You're about to watch me read Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. This is one of those books that I bought because the cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's also a romance book, so I mean, easy, easy. Pretty cover, romance, I'm sold. So I have, I think like kind of in the middle expectations for this book. It, I feel like it's going to be like a lot of fun. I feel like it's gonna be pretty cheesy and I feel like it's gonna be like that kind of like stock standard romance formula that I really, really like. So I am pretty excited about it, but I don't think it's gonna be like mind blowing. So from my understanding, Ready or Not is about a woman and she ends up doing something completely uncharacteristic. She has a one night stand and results in getting pregnant. And so she's obviously like, well, like what's going on? And so she has some help from her childhood best friend, but it's actually her childhood best friend's brother who is kind of like helping her for whatever reason. And they start to get maybe a little bit closer and she's not sure like, do I actually like him? Or is it like the pregnancy hormones that are making me kind of interested in him. So that's kind of like my understanding of like what the book is about. I don't think I've ever read like a pregnancy romance before and I'm not sure like what that's gonna be like. Like I, I'm still fairly young in, in my years so I'm not really like involved in that kind of world. So we'll, we'll find out if it's, if it's kind of for me or if this is like a book for maybe people who are a little bit older. But either way, let's crack this book open. But wait, we know the drill. This is a dust cover. Dust covers always, always, always come off because I do not like them because they slip and it's annoying. <laughs> so let's take it off. And of course I don't look because I wanna see if there's a design underneath, but like 90% of the time there is not. I like the color though, it's very pretty. It's given very like springtime vibes, which is great. Um, you can see like with the flowers here as well, it's just like very, it's very good for the season. So let's start reading for real. pages into ready or not and here are my thoughts so far eve and shep's interactions is it's my favorite then it's so cute and wholesome it's warm and it's fuzzy and it's just it's so good i really just love watching them interact and i think that's the best part about this book i don't really care too much about eve's character to be honest she feels a little bit too hostile like even before like she was pregnant it just her character just seems like a little bit too hostile to me but i mean i really like just like the interactions with her and with Shep. I just think that it's really well done and they have really great chemistry and really great just like friends to lovers kind of like aspect. No, like childhood friends to lovers, which is even better. It's also interesting just reading a book about a character who is pregnant because you don't really see that that much. I think the only time I ever really had that as a little bit of a focus was in Lessons in Chemistry that I read, but there was a completely different interaction between the main character in that book versus the main character in this book but i think it's great like it really gives like some insights into just like honestly how bizarre like the medical world is to women like why do they ask you the exact same like obvious questions a hundred times like and then like the nurse asks it and then the doctor has to ask it it's like yeah so i don't really know anything really about like the world that she is in but it's really interesting to be able to see what that world is like because i mean I imagine like when I'm in my 30s, I'll probably <laughs> experience what Eve is going through. So I think that it's good and it definitely feels like a real life experience. So I think that that's really great. The writing at times feels like it's a, trying a little bit too hard to be funny and it just kind of comes across as like a bit cringy, a bit childish. But despite that, I think that it's still a fun read so far. Like I, it's, I just really love the romance aspect and I'm such a sucker for romance that it doesn't really bother me that much because I'm not expecting it to be like a mind-blowing like literary masterpiece. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to read Ready or Not and I'll update you about the halfway mark. So I'll see you in my next update. <laughs> I'm now about halfway through Ready or Not and I actually really love the 
like the relationship that Eve, the main character, has with her brothers. I think that the scene during Christmas time was like, it was really cute and I think that it was just really well done and like all the brother brothers are like very different characters, very different people and the way that they interact with her as well as just like take the news of her pregnancy, I thought it was really well done. And of course every single scene with her and Shep just like melts my heart. I love, I just love reading about them so so much. They're so cute together. Like they're not even together but like you know what I mean? Like they're together in the book in the scenes. They're in the scenes together. So yeah I really love just like watching them and following them along as like the story progresses and stuff. There are just some really good scenes with like Ethan and Eve as well as just like Willa and, and Shep as well. I think that they all these characters have really good dynamics with each other and like it's just yeah I'm having a fun time with this book. It's definitely not like mind-blowing but it's a really nice just like casual easy read that I'm having a good time with like just like with all romance books up my alley for sure. So I'm gonna continue to read and I will update you either like towards the end of the book or when I finish it, most likely when I finish it because I am very close to finishing. So I will see you whenever I am in the book at my next update. <laughs> melted and swooning over Shep so so much he was he's just so cute everybody needs a Shep this guy's like a Shep um and it's just it's really cute it's really nice and I really I actually did really grow to like Eve's character because at first I didn't really like her she was a little bit too hostile but as she grows and matures throughout the entire story it's really really great as well as just like the other like all the characters are really realistic and they were really well done and the pace of the book was really good and it just it gave, made my heart really warm and really fuzzy and it was exactly what I wanted to read some fun easy to read cute romance and the best part was the slow burn I am such a big fan of slow burns because it's like I, it just isn't as good to me in my like just the way that I feel about it when it's like they kiss on like the 30th page and it's like okay but now what? And so, I mean, the exception to this rule was Icebreaker. That's the only exception to the rule you know, from what I've read. But this book, The Slow Burn of This, was so, so, so good. And I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. So I will be given, ready or not, a total of four stars. I had a lot of fun reading it. The first part of it, like the first few pages of it, were like really cringy, to be honest. But the rest of it was really, really enjoyable. I had so much fun with this book. I read it in less than 24 hours and it was just really cute. So the next book that I will be reading, also in the car, is Penelope Douglas's Birthday Girl. I have heard so many good things about this book that it's supposedly super, super spicy. Probably like, I imagine it's gonna be the spiciest book I've probably ever read in my entire life. So if you're interested in watching me read, Birthday Girl. I'm also reading the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson and a bunch of other books that are on my TBR. So if you're interested in watching me read those, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification. That way you're notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.